Well, well, well. Welcome back. <laughs> thank you for tuning in for this dose. And thank you if you have watched my previous videos. Um, if you have not liked, shared, or subscribed, please go ahead and do so and turn on your notifications. That way you do not miss any of your doses. <laughs> Well, don't look at the address. <laughs> we'll go ahead and just get into it. Now this box contains memories of 10 plus years. I know, talk about someone that knows how to keep receipts. <laughs> Not a lot of people know about this box. And my mom shipped it over to me. The box was in good conditions, but excuse me, FedEx, please make sure that the next time you handle my packages, you do not destroy this box. Look at this. That's, oh my God, it came like that. I'm supposed to be un unboxing it, and I guess FedEx beat me to the punch. Anyways, so let me go ahead and tell you the backstory of this box. Yes, it's May 2020. Um, me, myself, and I, 10 years ago, I was the senior class president in my high school. So, you know what happens when it's 10 years after your graduation? Well, of course, it is my duty as a former president to go ahead and organize the high school class of 2010 reunion. I know. It's important. <laughs> Shocker there. Um, yeah, time has really gone by fast. I had a couple of friends reached out to me and they were like, what are you doing for the reunion? Are you planning it? Are we going to have one? Um, let us know if you are going to do it. If not, so we can go ahead and take matters into our own hands. Please, 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 please sit down, have a seat because Ms. Rona canceled it all. 2020 is Ms. Rona's year. Not ours, darling, so please have a seat. Let's go ahead and start unboxing all of these memories my former classmates that I went to high school with do not know about this box. I don't think anybody knows about this box except for my immediate family. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and take a cruise down memory lane today, reminisce. Let's go ahead and start <laughs> taking things out. <laughs> I know, let's see. So I remember this. This one right here, yes. I immediately, as soon as I see this, I remember we put this one together. It goes up, it's numbers that form 2010, of course. And we did this for a pep rally our senior year. And it was the first pep rally that we had. And look, I don't know, I'm gonna try to get all this. Oh look, there's Andy, Joanna, there's me. Uh, let's see. There's a bunch of pictures. Oh, Cynthia and Stephanie. Oh. So that's the two. It spells out 2010 here. Hopefully I'm not too close to the camera. This is one of the zeros. And no, it is not my report card. I don't know how I graduated. Uh, oh, Samantha and Steph. Look at that. I don't know if you can see. So, these are like, some of the people on these pictures do not change, I'll tell you that. Two, zero, one. Here, forgetting how to write 2010. Uh, <laughs> this is the one. I know, look at that. There's Miss Marcus. So she was our sponsor our senior year. <laughs> Leslie. <laughs> oh, hopefully people do not get mad at me for showing these pics and posting them on YouTube. Well, disclaimer, right? This is another zero. This is the last zero. Oh, look, there's Alexandra. <laughs> Alexandra. There's Sam and Stacy. Norma. <laughs> oh my god. 
Yes. I remember this one. My family gave me this one when I graduated. Talking about it, oh my god. I still have the stickers that I used for my invitations. Yeah, like class of 2000, or graduate of 2010. Oh my god. I have one of the invitations. I do have the invitations still. <laughs> oh my, oh. The, these were my invitations for my graduation. Class of 2010, wow. And we, of course, our mascot was a Lobo. So it's a class model. The moment may be temporary, but the memory is forever. Aww, and then the class song was Time of Your Life by Green Day. My plan was, as I was going to organize the, the reunion, I wanted to surprise all my uh, classmates. Former classmates. I don't know why I still call them classmates. But yeah, that, that was the original plan. I wanted to go ahead and... This was going to be the decoration for whatever venue we would select. I wanted them to be surprised by all of these memories. But... Things happen, right? Oh, COVID. Are you kidding me? I even saved an admit one for the football games? Oh my. What a hoarder was I? Oh. 15 invites, las quinceañeras. Mira nomás cuando nos invitaron a las quinceañeras. Ya es tiempos de juventud. ¿A dónde te fuiste? Vida, no te acabes. Mira la Leslie. This was 12-13-2007. Oh my god. That's the first time that I had lost over 100 pounds. I was looking so good, slim and all. I aspire to be thin again. This is the pamphlet that they give during a graduation. That way you can go ahead and see who's going to be called and, and everything was graduating. I have in mind that my class was not that big. I believe we were only 150 some. Wow. You see, this would have been amazing to put on the tables during a reunion because it just brings back so much memories. Hi, Rona. Why the... Did you cancel our plan? This would have been cool. Not only does this show you how many did we have during our graduation or what's going to be called, but it shows you how much money did some of these students got awarded in scholarships. Honey, I had to file for grants. Look at this. 72,000, wow. I don't know. I won't show you that one. <laughs> you know, la Cynthia no man. Dude, Cynthia does not change. Cynthia recently came to LA uh, a few months ago. And, oh, I went to go pick her up at the hotel that she was staying in. And then we went over to a rooftop bar. And no kidding, as uh, we were having a conversation, I forgot that she has kids. And it just felt like if we had seen each other like a year ago or so, but in fact it had already been six to seven years that we hadn't spoken. But, I mean like, it was so weird. And she does not change. She looks very, very similar. I mean like, she doesn't age. And if she does, she's aging well, honey. I know, I tell you, so those are some of the best friendships to have. Just because, even though you don't see each other in a long time, when you do see each other, you pick up right where you left off. And that's an amazing feeling. Oh, this is when I was a... <laughs> I was a basketball boys manager for about two years. You gotta be kidding me, I even saved calendars. This is November 2008. And those are the, the activities. First official day of practice, tryouts. I believe this is for basketball. This is more than a memory. I legit stole this title from Garth Brooks, more than a memory. 
One of my passionate beliefs is that you can achieve your goals in life. It takes positive thoughts, strength, and willpower to accomplish a goal, to dominate your weakness and control your fears. Most people will try to bring your self-esteem down to feel good, telling you that you're not worth it and it's only a waste of time to succeed in life. Just because their lives didn't went well, they managed to destroy others. The correct thing to do is that you need to compile your thoughts and turning a dream into a reality. Okay. I was once judged in the wrong way just because I hang around with gangs so teachers and family members would see me as a dropout until I decided to take school seriously and accept positive thoughts only and swore not to turn back to where I to where, where what bitch you left me hanging Edgar from the past you left me hanging is this a cliffhanger no excuse me what is this? Love is pain. Amo a la madre. I know who did this. Who hurt you, honey? This is me. I guess I wrote this. What is the date? August 8th. August 8th, 2008. Hi. Who would have thought, man? Closeted me writing Love is pain. Boy, if only I can tell you about my troubles today. To be continued, bitch. This plot has a twist. <laughs> bitch, let me tell you something right here about these right here. I was so single in high school, forever alone, that I remember during Valentine's season, I would send myself the secret admirer. Roses and chocolates. Yeah, to Edgar from Secret Admire Happy V Day. Love you. This is self love, self care. I've had my myself since I was in high school. You know what? No one deserves my lunch. My lunch. I was really lunch. No one deserves my my love. Oh, I'm going to Walmart just take pictures with sunglasses. Damn. That was, we didn't have nothing better to do. This is definitely, you see, we didn't have TikTok back in the day, but we sure did go to Walmart to take pictures with the sunglasses and jewelry there. This box contains mixed emotions. It contains high school memories, middle school memories, and also memories of when I used to write poems feeling simply lonely, please. And nothing has changed apparently within 10 years. I'm not going to read this or should I? Maybe I should make another video reading some of these books. Ah, I paper cut on my lips. What the fuck? My filter consent form. Grr. Really? Talk about someone that keeps receipts. So I'll probably go ahead and do a part two to this video where I actually go in. Oh, what is this? No, these are letters. <laughs> but we used to write to each other. To Edgar from me, no shit. Who is me? Or is it Mimi? Like Mimi or me, someone else? We love you, Edgar. I, I was so lonely that I would even write letters to myself. Hi. So during class, have in mind that in my high school years, not all of us had phones. Yes, there was a time where we had to write on a piece of paper the message and then sli like slide the paper towards the person and then they would reply and then slide the paper back and then I would reply and then slide it back. That's how we communicated during class time so that the teacher wouldn't catch us talking, but we'd write notes. So apparently right here, this person writes me something and, um, and then I write something back and so on and so forth. I know, I tell you. So I, this, these are all letters. Wait, 
secret. Thinking about it now, I should probably do a video about me reading my high school letters that we used to write to each other. Well, 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 look in here. This was our high school <laughs> newspaper. Lobo News. And I, I was part of the, uh, what, what do they call it? The newspaper team? What, yearbook club. Yearbook club was with Miss Melendez. Part of the yearbook club, we would go ahead and do article columns for our newspaper. Uh, movie showings. Oh, we even had movie showings? Let's see some of the movies that were playing during my high school years. Disney's A Christmas Carol. Um, Paranormal Activity, Cirque du Freak, The Vampire's Assistant, Law Abiding Citizen, I remember that one. And I actually went to go see Cirque du Freak, it, The Vampire's Assistant, yeah. I would get him for free at the movies because of my friend. Michael Jackson, This Is It was playing during my high school time. <laughs> Journalism by Edgar Martinez. I know, Edgar, you were involved in everything. Tension whore, I'm telling you. Um, I'm going to show uh, I'll show you, or well, tell you one of the shout outs. I recognize this um, nickname. <laughs> and that couple is still together. They're high school sweethearts. They even formed a family now. So it's to Wally. Yes, yes, yes. It says, hi baby, I love you. Bebe. Exclamation point, and yeah, that's from your Eva. I know that's Victor and Elvia. I know that for sure that's Victor and Elvia because my mom did their um, homecoming pom pom or whatever, not pom pom, um, that corsage thing. When I was running for Prince, <laughs> I ran for Prince for homecoming and I got it. Oh, I think this is one of the, no. This is when I was trying to go into law school. I remember that. Um, yeah, so thing about me, I wanted to study law. I wanted to become a lawyer, please. Criminal justice was the major and I thought that was going to open many doors for me. When I started studying it, no, it was a drag. And not the, the, the type of drag that I like. We would create our own little signing books with a couple of pages and just, Edgar, it was great knowing you. Keep in touch. Te deseo lo mejor. Edgar, thanks for being a good friend always. Edgar, you're awesome. See you around and make something good of yourself because I know you will go far. Aww. People have hope in me, and I, my story is not done yet, so I'm still in the in the making. Edgar, you suck as president. Akumi, I try my best, bitches. Edgar, I wish you the best. I know that you will be somebody important in life. Take care. Keep in touch. Oh, and they even left me their phone number. This, this, look, look at this one says, Titanic, good luck next year. I love your hair nipples. What? Your hard nipples. Excuse me? <laughs> Two things important in this farewell. Titanic was my nickname because I would always have a flat top. That was my haircut back in the day. And about my hard nipples, what? <laughs> A girl, please. Yeah, our high school was built in the middle of nowhere. Activities, let's see what kind of activities did we used to do. The dances, Mardi Gras. How did we allow Mardi Gras to be celebrated in high school? If no one even flashed. Not that we wanted to see anything, right? Like they should have, oh no, we do. I was about to say we should have something that has shirtless men, but pride, honey, that's, that's the best celebration. 
Alright, I'm just showing a little bit of... I'm gonna make sure I sit proper. And I will show you some of these pictures because... Well, some of these couples didn't make it through. Let's just say they got cancelled. Oh, this is actually the, the sash that I wore. Let's see. How is it? Wait, hold on. I don't know what's spilled there. Look. This is what I had to wear when I was crowned uh, homecoming prince. Yeah, I want bitches. I remember this. I think my mom gave me this. And this is the key that comes in, in this. It says class of 2010, the key to success. No wonder I've been failing at life. You know, I needed this key. This key has been here all these years. I know. No, well, ya tengo la llave. Let's go ahead and start succeeding. A fossil. <laughs> this is a fossil, you guys. This is actually my iPod, the one that I used to listen to on the way to school and back home and to field trips and to basketball games. I remember this. Um, yeah, I would write the bus. I didn't have a car until my senior year. <laughs> 10 years, 10 years, 10 years right here. And it's still inflated. Wow. My hair. <gasps> I messed up. So we have one more packet to open. <gasps> oh, nip slip, hold on. <laughs> Hi. I wanna give you a show here now. If not, you're gonna have to send me tips via Apple Pay or Venmo. <laughs> Look at this. These are the shirts, actually. Dude, I know. Look at this. This are my high school shirts. We would make one every year. Or no, this is this is the one that we did for senior. And you see it had our graduating class in the back. Seniors. Chaparral High School Class of 2000. Yeah, this is part of the Oh my god Class of 2010 <gasps> When I was in basketball This is the, the shirt that I would have to wear to games because, uh, as a manager or when I was in the concession stand selling Frito pies and hot Cheetos with cheese. Yes. Life, chance, dream. Oh, one life, one chance, one dream, one team. A la madre. We have reached the end of this memory lane. It definitely feels weird seeing some of these pictures because it takes me back to that moment where some of the pictures were taken or I remember specifics of that specific event. It has honestly been kind of cool just looking at all this stuff that I've kept for 10 years. I mean like, hey, who would have thought? I just kept on throwing things into a box. This has been definitely very real. I hope that you have enjoyed watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe and turn on your notifications. There's more to come. Do not miss any of your doses. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And please, I want to know if you all want a part two, me reading some of the letters that are in this box. So, thank you for watching. And until next time, until the next dose, bye.